Hey everyone, so we're back with Tales of Drang Lake. At the end of the last episode, I basically like massacred all these ball sack monsters. Uh, and now it's time to talk to Ben Art of Hugo. This guy's pretty cool. That is an epic, epic beard and mustache combo. An epic accent as well. This is a cool character. Alright. We're gonna take care of this statue. I did buy the fragrant... Yes, I did. Okay. Cool. I'm not a complete idiot. Yeah, we're like the... Like the noob mustache beard combo. While Ben Art has the... Like the Chad version. And compared to the epic Scottish accent, this fake coughing is not the best. But hey, we're gonna look past that. But let's just get this over with. Let's give her a moment. That is a moment. What up? Don't throw up on me, please. Cool. Oh, Rosabeth. I still haven't thanked you. Well, I'm so She says she's handy at Pyromancy and gives you a prism stone. Uh But do you have any clothes in it? I'll take anything. Whatever you don't need. Anything at all. Just anything at all. Cool. Let's give her some shit. Uh we're gonna give her the <laughs> the desert sorcerer stuff. Cool. We are like, let's give her the, just the desert sorcerer's like gear because we have like a massive amount of these. Plus, they're apparently very easy to get now. You're welcome. Is he the Milord is the other sorcerer guy, right? I think. I don't even remember because there is no other Pyromancer trainer in this game. Anyways, we can finally get going. So welcome everyone back again to Tales of Drang Lake. Continuing on the grind here. Uh, oh yeah, that closes. We can't go back to Banart. Even though we took care of the statue issue. This is a weird place for a bonfire, but I get why they did it. So you don't have to go through this shit again. This shit being the whole door opening, closing thing. Uh, yeah, so we're back on the grind. I'm gonna try to sort of get through the shaded woods as quickly as I can. Well, oh, cool. No, we're not gonna rush it, but... Which one is this? Ring of the Dead. Yeah, keep human appearance when hollow. It's a weird one, and I just noticed I'm stupid. And I have the Ring of Steel protection. Yeah, there's like a couple of rings like this in this game. Uh, you have the one that allows you to keep your appearance when you're invading. Those are cool, you know. And of course, this was the first Souls game that let you have uh, four ring slots, which became standard and it is the better standard I'm just gonna have a look around here the one thing that I'm still what the hell was that the one thing that I'm still missing and I'm getting slightly slightly concerned about is the you can't make this can you no this ain't Sonic or Assassin's Creed what? Why did I think of Sonic and Assassin's Creed? Oh, what up? Little dwarf who's gonna get backstabbed and killed. Um, the one thing I'm missing is the coal. For what's his name? The Doll Ember. That's what it's called. Because I'm pretty sure I did look through the Iron Keep fairly thoroughly. And I didn't see it. Uh, so there's a slight concern there, I'm not gonna lie. 
that either I missed it or... Well, if it's further on up in the game, you know, it's not too big of an issue, but if I missed it, that's going to be annoying. The one, like, not issue, but one of the things with modded games is that you can't really check for shit. You know, I can't just go on the wiki and look up where the coal is because there ain't... The spear is letting me down today. I'm not gonna lie. I'm getting them sweet backstabs though. Oh, I'm out of... Okay. I was like, what the hell is happening? But I'm out of stamina. So, yeah, that's the thing. I can't just... If I can't find it, I'm gonna have to like search every nook and cranny, but it might all be pointless because it might just be further on up. Whatever. What up? Ichimonji. Not even Ichimonji, because Ichimonji is like from above. I'm like pro a pro with the samurai terminology. Thanks to Sekiro. Cool. Most important bonfire. And before I accidentally use it, I'm going to remove the last aromatic ooze I have. So what I'm going to do is we'll have a look down here to the left. Even though this just leads to the Shrine of Winter. Ah, uh, you know. It's worth taking a look and getting shot in the head. Oh, you know that hitbox thing? Hitbox thing? Can't even talk. That I was talking about in the previous episode. Uh, these guys are also prime examples of it. In that these guys uh, have an attack. It's like that. It's like a running attack. Don't know if they're gonna do it. It's like an absolute mind fuck. It has a... I swear, it hurts you before it even starts up. Like, before they even start up the animation. It's pretty insane. Okay, let's just quickly take a look. Just in case we have anything significant. Oh yeah, you wanna go bitch? Samurai sword is not something you want to fuck with. Dragon Slayer Crescent Axe, not a bad weapon. In fact, that's a pretty good PvP weapon. That's another thing I've never managed to found, find. The key to what's his name, Cell. Yeah, there are some things that are just like missing. Maybe I'm completely blind and I just missed them. But I don't know. We do not need to go over here. Uh, let's just... Hmm. Just have a look in Majula. I wanna wanna check something out. Okay, let's see what you have to sell. Uh, let me just take a quick look. I'm still trying to look for, look for something that is more Ishin-y. You know. Uh, something bluish, uh, tinted, or I don't know, but this dude has honestly jack shit. Uh, that's the only reason I came back here. And I might just get no, not the falconer's glove. Royal soldier. This helmet is pretty cool. Get the knight gauntlet, cause why not? Thanks very much. Do come again. Hmm. Interestingly, the Laddersmith guy didn't move either. Uh, and I'm pretty sure he should have. Because I did buy his shit. Uh, oh well. Let's go ahead. No, we're gonna check out one more thing. What do we need to... Reinforce the spear? Chunk. The question is, do you sell a chunk? I'm not sure she does. She sells a... Girl, you got what I need. It's just what I was looking for. 
a single chunk. Cool. Well, that was very convenient. Let's head back. Okay. Time to go and haul ass through this part of the Shaded Woods. I really should go and get the Chloranthi ring. Uh, but that's easier to do from the other side. So I'm just going to go ahead and do this quickly. Talk to what's his name? The head. I'm just going to fuck with you. You can get some like cool angles here. How do you have vocal cords? Just tell me that. Or lungs. Well, whatever. Dark Souls logic, right? actually fairly an interesting a fairly interesting character unless you allow yourself to be summoned need to get the gesture if nothing else you need to talk to this guy for that gesture but he does sell gold pine resin which is fairly useful May we meet again? One day soon. yeah see the interesting thing is that i'm playing this mod and i'm taking things a little bit slower sort of i'm listening to all these dialogues and i'm like damn i don't even remember like half this shit because, you know, like, go through the first playthrough, you listen to this, and then you just end up skipping shit after to get things on the road, uh, like, to get things going. But this game does have good dialogue. It has some shit dialogue as well. What the hell? Where's the bonfire? Okay. Boys, I'm gonna, like, give you some minus points for interior decoration uh this is not the not the best oh shit it's butterfly uh, is that gonna be poison butterfly is that what they use to spice up the area here it's gonna be great i get why they moved it though uh the issue with the bonfire placement normally it's down here is that if you unpetrify but he's not here either the little lion thing. Or is he... Not, no, 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 he's further down. Uh, the issue is that he aggros on you. But no, he really isn't here. The petrified lion. Oh, well, whatever. It's not like the end of the world. So, yeah, he aggros on you. Uh, which can be... Pretty annoying. You rest at the bonfire and immediately have an enemy aggro on you. Anyways, let's get a move on. Shaded Woods. Sh should check. But again, I'm pretty sure that these types of chests cannot be mimics in this game. And not in this version. They can have the traps in them, but I think only the iron chests can be mimics which is makes sense because it makes sense because you can destroy chests fairly easily in this game yeah bro you could you could easily get don't tell me you couldn't get that treasure if you wanted to it's possible to open a chest from the side as well 
Uh, don't even lie. <laughs> the thing. Those things are absolutely hilarious. These chests. Their laugh. We technically don't need to go here. Uh, I am tempted to explore. I see you. You ain't gonna get me. Two steps ahead. Uh, yeah, let's let's take a look at that area down there. What the hell? Is that Vangarl? That's his body. I was just about to say, you know, when we met him. Oh shit, he's stronger. Uh, I was just gonna say, I wonder if they're gonna move his body somewhere else because it's in kind of a weird spot. You know, it doesn't really make sense how it ended up here. Oh, fuck. How it ended up there. Each a bitch. And you have the other animation. This is a unique character model. Ha. Huh. When did I ever use a jumping attack to kill something? Yeah, it it was kind of in a weird location. Why why is it located after the duke? Uh I think this is more fitting. Interestingly, there are no lion knights. Maybe they just like deleted that shit from this game cuz the lions are actually mad annoying. Got a chunk there. Dark Scythe. Scythes are, as you know, a shadow of their former self. Mr. Scorpion, Scorpion dude. Oh, I should be checking these, I'm stupid. I swear, you know what I talked about in the previous episode, that is gonna happen where one of these is gonna be a mimic when it normally isn't. I think there's another statue here normally, which I'm very happy he's not here. That's the lion that... I think that's the one that like drops a unique piece of... Oh, maybe, maybe they've been repositioned. I think that's the one that will have the key. Oh fucking hell. Oh, what the hell? I cannot navigate in this game, I swear to you. Narrow walkways are... Like, more dangerous than any boss you could imagine. Fuck. Somebody just asked if we'll ever get an episode without me falling to my death like an idiot. Uh, it's looking like that's never gonna happen. I think that's statistically impossible for this channel. The only reason I need to come back... Uh, of course, put it on the other side. Uh, I heard an enemy. Fuck. That is like a lot more nerve... Rah. Unbelievable. That is a lot more nerve-wracking, like once you've already fallen off. Cool, let's head back. All right, let's get the chest, the chest, which I'm pretty sure contains an upgrade material. Yeah, it do. This is about the time in the game where they start like slowly trickling down chunks. 
towards you. Which is good. Or if you, of course, come here earlier, you can get chunks earlier too. There they are. I was about to miss you, lion. He's a pretty interesting enemy. They have some dope gear too. Again, yeah, that's what the thought I wanted to finish. That there's one. That's the one. That one has a unique piece of equipment. I think a unique chest piece. Which is only dropped. Holy shit, they do a lot of damage. It's only do dropped by him. And normally... It's like super annoying to get because he's petrified and... If you don't know the mechanic, if maybe you're not as familiar with Dark Souls 2, there is a gimmick in this game where after, I don't know, like 10 kills, 10, 12 kills, the enemies will disappear. They will start disappearing. And you will have to use a bonfire aesthetic to uh, get them back. That is one of the mechanics which didn't pan out, I think, because... It sure as shit didn't return. The idea was with it to help uh, struggling players, you know. Like, if you keep dying in an area over and over again, at least you'll have some, like, like a bit of a break after a while. Because the enemies will just not come back. But the only thing that it ended up doing is it made it really annoying to get rare pieces of equipment because... And believe me, there is like some incredibly rare pieces of gear in this game. Like, insanely rare. Uh, so the only thing it ended up doing is made those things really annoying to get. Haven't been up here in like ages. Probably ain't missing, yeah, ain't missing out on much. And normally this is blocked as well, and it still is. Those chests are so, these things are so fucking funny. I love their laugh. Again, when I'm playing on console with the volume turned down, some of this can be a little bit hard to hear. Actually, that's not where we need to go. We need to... Yep, this is the one. Where we'll find wheelchair guy. Mr. Dark Diver. Homing soul mass. And then, of course, I don't have the... This guy is pretty cool too. Look at his little basket. Is that what he does his shopping in? And this guy has an even more epic mustache and beard combo. Now the thing is, he does do the shopping in those. Like he has little, what are those, kumquats? Um, I don't remember whether you need to meet him in the other locations or whether you need to have uh, int and faith for him to allow you to do his quest line. I'm not going to do it. Uh, I'm pretty sure you need int and faith. But I'm not going to do it because I don't find these those areas too interesting. Aside from the boss, the Dark Lurker. Dark Lurker is a good boss. But the unfortunate thing is that the 
areas you need to go through are a bit of a struggle. All they, all they have in them is just like NPCs. Question, is it worth for me going back and getting the ring for the scorpion? Probably not. Let's just get going. This area is fairly easy to run through up to the boss. And this isn't a difficult boss either. I'm not even in human form, but I think there are a couple of other NPCs here that you could summon. I should have buffed too. Yeah, I will have a chance to buff. Yeah, I will. Because I think she's dumb until you attack her. Oh, should I use this? A bright bug? Nah, not for this. Not for Scorpioness Nashka. It's just that I'll end up not using them ever. Oh shit. Now this boss is an absolute nightmare during a speed run. You guys know when I had that series where I attempted to speedrun this game on stream. She was my oh, fucking hell. Well, I think she wanted to do a demonstration. That was an insane amount of damage. Uh, but yeah, this was the biggest obstacle for me. Scorpion as Nasha. You wouldn't think, but... It's kind of the nature of speedrunning, you... If you can even call it speedrunning what I was doing. But it's just kind of the nature of it that... Things you wouldn't expect to be difficult sort of tend to be difficult. And then vice versa. Hard things tend to be fairly easy. Like she was, again, she was the biggest obstacle because you have to come here very early in the speedrun. And... Compared to how early you are here, she is fairly powerful. Like, you can't fuck up there. And you know how this game is. And I seem to remember the trick used to be there is a certain position which is not there. Yeah, she's been sped up as well. Not like her movement or anything, but that attack definitely isn't that quick, normally. Um, fuck. What was I saying? I hate that mechanic. Yeah, that is insanely quick. It's my chance to get this useless piece of treasure. Did I get it? I think I got it. It is absolutely worthless, but there is a certain sense of achievement. And that's the attack that fucks you up too, when she she attacks with her scorpion part. Yeah. And this is it's twinkling. Hella not worth it. But yeah, then that, that is scorpion as Nashka for you. 
Um, I don't know, man. Bosses sped up like this are certainly a little bit more difficult and just looking at some of my rolls, maybe I need to bump up my endurance a bit because I'm wearing some armor, my leggings specifically, and I'm not sure if that's like not screwing with me or something because I had some like attacks there where I got hit even though I thought I dodged. Anyways, we're heading back to Majula here. Just wait a second. Need to kill this elephant. Lions, elephants. What the hell, man. Dwarves. This game is straight up Skyrim sometimes. Okay, cool. Well, what I think I'm going to go ahead and do here is I will start wrapping up the episode as we head back to Majula. Uh, I want to thank you guys very much for watching. I think we made some good progress here. Halfway through, about. Uh, I'll spend my souls here in the next episode. Oh, she's here as well. Like, everybody's so friendly in this version of the game. Like, they're all gathered around here. They come around, roast some marshmallows on the bonfire. Yeah, we'll spend our souls and then we'll get going and we'll continue. Uh, yeah, I want to thank you guys very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed this episode of Tales of Drang Lake. Hope to catch you all next time. Like, comment, subscribe, turn on post notifications. And yeah, peace out.